I developed this and it was already out in the field and we did our first sort of clinical examination, collecting some data in, in the United Kingdom, uh, University of East London to be specific. The, the physicians at the hospital, the Stratford Village Surgery, they would ask, is they wanted to use it, they weren't test subjects, but they were using it because they all had low bone mass. They were using it and they would say, wow, like we're really dealing with huge amounts of weight here. Right, because we're optimized. Like, like I said, now it's, there's four movements. I'm just doing the upper extremities because it's easy to demo that right here in front of you. What is most profound is you're dealing with weights. Even, even the people who were in this initial study, they were postmenopausal females and they were getting like six, seven, eight times body weight through this process. It's just for a couple seconds. But it's, and, and that, that's uh, for the lower extremities. They had incredible results. So they, they built more, more bone density than even the other studies. Now, I, they were really compromised. So I think that's part of the reason why they had such an outrageous response. But really compromised people are a better reflection of the public than healthy fit people, because there's not a lot of healthy fit people. So uh, it was probably a more accurate study.